Good afternoon. It's Monday, March 27, 2017. For all Western New York News and Radio, I'm Scott Leffler. Scattered showers this afternoon, then clouds with a high near 56. More showers possible overnight with a low around 43. Tuesday, showers are again likely with a high near 51. What's in the news? A federal grand jury convicted James A. McCallum, age 46, of Bemis Point of mail fraud. The charge carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison and a quarter million dollar fine. Prosecutors say that between January 2008 and December of 2010, the defendant, a practicing attorney at the time, devised a scheme to defraud investors out of approximately $3.4 million. A federal grand jury has returned an 11-count indictment charging Juan Pacheco Jr., age 34, Andrew Garner, also known as BAM, age 36, both of Jamestown, with conspiracy to distribute over 5 kilograms or more of cocaine, over 500 grams or more of methamphetamine, and marijuana, and maintaining a drug-involved premises. Pacheco was also charged with possession with intent to distribute cocaine, methamphetamine, and marijuana. Garner was additionally charged with distribution of cocaine and possession with intent to distribute cocaine, methamphetamine, and marijuana. The charges carry a mandatory minimum penalty of 20 years in prison for Pacheco and 10 years for Garner. Both face a maximum penalty of life in prison and a $10 million fine. Police news. A 39-year-old Clarence woman is facing charges after New York State Police say she struck a parked vehicle, then left without reporting the crash. They found her cell phone at the scene. According to the report, troopers responded to Circle Court in Clarence to investigate the hit and run. While there, they found a cell phone and it rang and they spoke to Kelly Perkins, who gave troopers her location. They went to her home, determined her to be intoxicated and charged her with DWI and leaving the scene of an accident. A 59-year-old Whitesville man was charged Friday with driving while intoxicated following a traffic stop on State Route 248 in Willing. State police say Ernest C. Keir was stopped for vehicle and traffic violations and determined to be intoxicated. He was taken to the Amity Troopers barracks and found to have a 0.11% blood alcohol content. A 19-year-old Elmont man was charged Friday with fourth-degree criminal possession of marijuana, second-degree criminal possession of drug paraphernalia, and unlicensed driving following a traffic stop on State Route 244 in Alfred. State police say Simon U. Kalyu Jr. was stopped for vehicle and traffic violations. While performing a search, troopers found more than 140 grams of marijuana, smoking devices, a scale, and bags commonly used for the sale of marijuana. He was also found to be driving without a license and wanted in Livingston County for driving without a license. A 21-year-old Asheville man was charged Sunday with aggravated DWI following a traffic stop. State police say troopers responded to the complaint of a reckless driver on Open Meadows Road in Harmony where they located Aaron Rahr and placed him under arrest after he failed multiple field sobriety tests. He was taken to the Jamestown Troopers Barracks where he was found to have a 0.20% blood alcohol content. Sports! The Buffalo Sabres take on the Florida Panthers at 7 p.m. at Key Bank Center. The question is... Do you root for them to win, knowing that they're pretty much out of the playoffs? Or do you root for them to lose in hopes that they get a better draft pick? Always difficult this time being a Sabres fan. Don't miss Corey comments on following the 2 and 5 p.m. newscasts here on All Western New York Radio and on the All Western New York Radio podcast after that. Another don't miss for the day, my show, Here's the Thing, broadcast live at 8 p.m. And for a list of shows you don't want to miss, check out Greg Burt's column on allwesternyorkradio.com, heard in Western New York. Okay, that's the news for All Western New York News and Radio. I'm Scott Leffler saying, have a great day.